Y'all, I have another makeup tutorial for y'all today. I'm giving you guys a vanilla chocolate milk chocolate vanilla swirl matte cut crease eyes with a pop of strawberry in the middle. I'm giving you all of the ice cream flavors, okay? If you are interested in seeing this look, of course, stick around. If you are not part of the royal gang, click the subscribe button down there. It is free 99, free of charge, free free give me a thumbs up give me a like don't forget to share comment without further ado let's get down to business I've already done my brows off camera just to save time. For my eyebrows, I used the e.l.f. brow kit in the color dark, and I basically focused using the little gel. That's what I use for my eyes. Now let's set the lid so that we have a base so that our colors could stick to. So I'm taking the Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the color Butterscotch. Added that on top of the eye. Now I'm gonna blend this out with a stippling brush. Taking the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder in the color Translucent. With the brush, I'm literally just gonna tap that right on top of the concealer. I have to do it again, y'all. I have to do it again. Yes, we are using a Jackie Ina's palette. This has been my go-to. I mean, come on now. Am I wrong for wanting to support Jackie? Jackie, Jackie, Jackie? I don't think so. Ginger is honestly just a really good transition color. So this is the color that I'm going to use to transition. Okay, so now that we have our transition down, we're going to deepen out the V and kind of like prepare to cut the crease, but not really cut the crease just yet. Credit. Credit is the color that we're going to be going into to deepen out that crease and to add some definition to it. After applying the credit, I'm just gonna go in and blend it just so that it's as seamless as it could possibly be. To cut the crease, I'm gonna use like a flat shader brush like this. And using the Inglot number 94 eyeliner or cream liner, this is what I'm gonna use to actually cut the crease. This takes a lot of concentration. Please, please do not disturb. <laughs> Let me tell you, by the end of 2020, my French will be on point. Oh, great! Tu parles français? Oui, je suis parlé français un peu. It will be. It will be. We're going to use the color Kessie, which is this matte tan color, kind of like cream, actually. And it's coming from the Magic Mini Palette by Juvia's Place. I'm literally just going to pat that right on top of where I applied my base for my cut crease. Get 
Okay. Here, welcome to the Royalty Ice Cream Vanilla Swirl Shop where we are serving chocolate, chocolate milk, and vanilla. Oh my gosh, I never primed my face. What in the what? That's usually like the first thing I do. So let's put on primer. We're gonna use the e.l.f. Mineral Primer today. I'm not really going anywhere, so. Is there really like none left for real? There's none left. I don't have any primer. Oh no. Okay, you don't see by a Vini. While the primer is getting set on my face and like sinking into my skin, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna prime my eyes. Prime my eyes. That's a no. I'm gonna line my eyes with the NYX matte liner and then I'm gonna apply my lashes and then I'll be back so that we can do the face. Alright, lashes on. Lashes on. For foundation today, I'm actually going to mix these two. These are the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Full Coverage Foundations. That's a really long name, but that's these are the foundations that I want to use today. However, the 356 is way too orange for me. Not way too orange, but it's too orange for me. And I have 340 here. Let me tell you the only reason why I got 340. Because, honey, you see this yellow sign? It was on clearance at Target. That's the only reason why I got it. And I felt like the color shade might have been a little bit better. But we're going to mix these two and get my face snatched. too orange I gotta find my correct shade in this but we're gonna make this work watch this with some concealer I'm gonna take the butterscotch concealer in Too Faced and we're basically gonna even this bad boy out that's what we're going to do After blending out all the concealer, now I'm going to set all the concealer spots with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. Alright, now my face is looking a little flat, so you know we gotta shizzle it up a bit. To contour, we're gonna be using the Black Radiance Contour Kit in the color Medium to Dark. I'm actually gonna be going in between both shades sculpt and contour to contour because I feel like contour might be a little bit too dark so we're gonna go in between both of them and we're gonna chisel up the face
for blush. I'm thinking we should do a little pinky pinky today. I'm taking the color Gulu by NARS. To set my whole face, I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder in the color Medium Deep to get rid of all this ashiness. Bye-bye, ashiness. Bye-bye. I'm gonna take the color credit, which is the dark brown color in the outer V. I'm gonna transfer that down underneath the lash line. I'm gonna smoke that out. I'm gonna apply some under eye liner, and then we're gonna finish the face. Oh my gosh, we're almost done. I add the inner tear duct pink. I took the color Palomero and I just added that in. But I spray it a little bit too just so it could come off metallic and I added that on top of the opal highlighter so it could really like shine. Like shine, shine, shine. Shining, 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 yeah. For a look like this, I feel like a glossy nude would just like top this off. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna line my lips with K Liner by ColourPop. The first gloss that I'm gonna add is the Sephora Lip Gloss. It's actually a lip plumping lip gloss. It's in the color number two, Outrageous. I like this gloss a lot. Like this mixed with like other glosses. Yeah, it's the beat. Y'all see that nude? It's like a... It's like a cute nude. And then to top it off, I'm going to add Buxom Lip Gloss in the color Amanda. Love this one. I must say, like, Buxom Lip Glosses? Yeah. There we have it, that is the finished look. Thank you so much for joining me today, you guys, with another makeup tutorial. Thank you so much for just being with me and just supporting me. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. Truly appreciate it. If you guys have not seen any of my previous videos, um, stick around, there will be some options at the end. And thanks so much for joining me today, y'all. I will see y'all next time. Peace.